What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D-Riv. Hey, today we're going to be watching some more wrestling content. Hey, today we're going to figure out who is the GOAT of wrestling. First name that comes to mind, honestly for me, is probably Cena. But for a lot of others, it's probably Ric Flair or Undertaker, Cena. For some people, it might be Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, or The Rock. We're finna figure out who the actual GOAT is. For me, though, I would probably say Cena, bro. Cena's done a lot. He can do a lot. I would say the GOAT is probably Cena. And I would be more than happy to see him pass Ric Flair in all-time titles. Currently, he's tied, but I, I want to see him pass him. First on Cross Channel, make sure I go ahead and click that thumbs up. Show me you like this kind of content. And also, let me know what you want me to react to next. Oh, and I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers, so go ahead and subscribe, please. So without further ado, bruh, let's get into this video. Had in the sports, music, and entertainment world for the longest time. Crowning a goat shows that the person given that honor has made a legendary contribution. Top to two, Undertaker and Cena for me. Left an undeniable impact Undertaker on Cena that for me. profession. Top two. And succeeded to the best of their abilities, encapsulating the lives of millions. In sports, and millions. some goats are definitive. In golf, you have Tiger Woods. In Tiger my Woods favorite sport, goat. hockey, it's Wayne Gretzky. Of course. The thing with sports is more He's often the most known than name not, in it's based on championships, points, and team success. In wrestling, crowning someone the GOAT is much harder. Their success isn't measured in points or seasons. Their success is measured by the impact they made on the business, their audience reception, marketability, crossover appeal, longevity, and the ability to leave a lasting impact on the wrestling world. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the GOATs in the wrestling business. And at the end of the video, I'll leave it up to you. Who is your wrestling GOAT and why? Cena and Taker, bro. When the for conversation me. for the GOAT comes up, John Cena's name easily has to spring to mind. It has to. After The Rock and Even if you hate him, it has WWE, to. John Cena was made the next top star. And say whatever you want, but when he was given that honor, he ran with it as far as he could. In WWE, he gave us some of the most compelling storylines. On the mic, he was amazing and one of the best. And he helped launch WWE stock forward. He did it after the horrid events of 2007 when the Chris Benoit tragedy took place. He helped bring goodwill back to the WWE. The Make-A-Wish campaign became the John Cena show. He was in TV shows, hosting award shows, athletes and celebrities were hitting the You Can't See Me because it was such a well recognized symbol. Anna Montana. He simply became the franchise. People knew John Cena even though they had never watched WWE. The contribution I need that to belt, wrestling man. business I need the and belt. growing the brand is something people still or turn title. a blind eye to and probably in the next 5 to 10 years is where people will realize just how much he did. When Rock and Austin left, WWE had no business staying in the mainstream as long as they did and you can attribute that to John Cena. He simply captured an entire generation of wrestling fans and with him, he made WWE stock grow even more. Another person who could be considered the GOAT is the biggest movie star in the world he's today. He's up there, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's top This guy is a charisma three, machine, and that's why people gravitated he's towards top him 10. so much. He's not top three, When he would make his way down to the ring, he just had a natural swagger. And when he'd pick up the mic, the whole arena would be anticipating his next word. He had the wrestling world mesmerized with his amazing ability on the mic. His promo work alone puts him in the conversation for the GOAT. He had the perfect mix of comedy, seriousness, and passion. When he was in the WWE, the love for the WWF was at a fever pitch. And it was The Rock who helped deliver moments, storylines, and matches that will last a lifetime. While making this video, the one thing I read a lot was The Rock wasn't in WWE for enough time to be in this conversation. But I think that should matter because the time he was there for, he killed it. And afterwards, he dominated the entertainment. Well, he was there for maybe not even not even 10 years consistently. Because he, he started in 96. Then he took a break and came back and joined the nation. Then he left again. Then he became The Rock. So after that... He can't, I say he was there until about from like 96 to like 04, 03. That's it. That's not that long. That's really not that long. So that actually sucks. Because if, if he would have stayed as long as Cena did, 
Another name we got to throw out there in the GOAT debate, man. Randy Orton got to be in this too. Randy has to be in this. Randy's one of the greatest villains ever. He has to be in this. We're going we're gonna to see. We're going to see. Let me know who y'all think the GOAT is in the comments right now. Right now. People will always link him back to the WWE because even in the outside world, sure, they call him Dwayne Johnson. Everybody knows know him, him as The Rock. His wrestling name. More often than not, it's The Rock. Everybody Alongside knows him as The, the Rock. Rock. We had Stone Cold Steve Stone Austin. Stone Cold's top 10. But whenever that glass shattered, the crowd lost its mind. The Austin 316 promo is probably the most iconic mic drop in wrestling history. And Stone Cold as a whole is probably the biggest draw the wrestling world will ever see. Even a few years ago when he came out at WrestleMania 32, the crowd lost its mind. That's nearly 20 years after he was in his prime. People know the name and in such a short amount of time, he won so many titles, he won 3 rumbles, main evented WrestleManias and he helped push WWE stock forward. Without Stone Cold, there is no Attitude Era. He was the one who brought the attitude. Stone Cold broke the mold for promo work. He was just a relatable guy. His feuds with Mr. McMahon and The Rock are legendary. Yeah. During his time with WWE, he held six WWE titles and the stunner became an iconic move. Then you have Hulk Hogan. Whatever you may think of his actions in recent Top years, 10. that should not detract from how much he did for the WWF. Hulk Hogan was the man who sparked a wrestling boom and paved the way for stars like The Rock, Austin, and Cena. Without mm, him, wrestling King isn't Kong buddy. Without him, there isn't a Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression Era. Hulkamania took the world by storm. They made every type of merchandise imaginable for it. He was in commercials, he was headlining the big events, and she was in Cheerios? had been slammed before, but he gave us the most iconic moment in WrestleMania history aside from the streak. People had this connection to Hulk Hogan that was simply special. When they heard Real American, their life was brought excitement. When they saw Hulk rip off his t-shirt, the crowd would go bananas. The leg drop was iconic and he catapulted WWF into a global phenomenon. If you don't really care about how much merchandise someone sold mm. or what they did outside the ring, I mean, how many people are top ten already? Like four. Of all time Something like is measured in three more the spots ring. in top ten. And that conversation begins with a guy like Shawn Michaels, who is a pure wrestling machine. They called him the showstopper for a reason. He was the guy who broke the mold for smaller wrestlers to excel. And when he was in the ring and the stakes were high, you knew that he would deliver. You can say whatever you want about backstage politics or him sleeping with all the women's locker room, presumably, or him wiping his ass with my country's flag, but he was a once in a generation performer what did with say? my country's flag. Oh, shake my head. See again. Speaking of Canada, you have Brett the Hitman Hart, who many people consider the greatest wrestler of all time. Brett's popularity in the 90s was huge, and he's mm. beaten the legends in the business. Everyone from Randy Savage to Ric Flair to Roddy Piper to Stone Cold to HBK. He's, he's before my time. It it's hard to say. He's got a laundry I didn't watch too much of a Brit. And every time the crowd hears his music, everyone goes wild. The one thing that I found a lot while researching this video was a lot of people seem to think that Bret Hart was the originator of the five moves of doom, which I never really thought of until I looked doom? further into it. So I'm just going to let you look further into it. What is the but five I'm moves of doom? that one up to you. He definitely belongs in the conversation for the GOAT. What is the five moves of doom? The sharpshooter? What else? I only know the sharpshooter. Maybe I know his moves, but I don't, I've never heard nobody say the five moves of doom. So I, I don't know what he's talking about. But I'm sure I do know the moves, but I, somebody in the comments, I know somebody in the comments knows. So let me know in, the, in down below. Because I, I don't know what he means by the five moves of doom. Oh, if you want to measure accolades in wrestling, then look no further than the nature boy Ric Flair, who has the record for the most world titles. Ric Flair's greatest asset was he can make... Ric Flair did an interview recently. He said that he actually has 21 titles, not 16. But they only give him 16. He said he's cool if Cena passes him, but he said he actually has 21. But they didn't, they didn't count them because they wasn't like, I think he said like Puerto Rico or something. So he said they didn't count it. But even still, 21 is crazy. 16 is crazy. And it still hasn't been broken yet. It's been tied, but it hasn't been passed. And it's been how long since Ric Flair stopped wrestling? Like in the WWE? 
So, I mean, I don't know, man. Ric Flair is definitely top 10. I'll give him that. Make anyone he wrestled look better. What are the greatest a talkers like ever? Hogan who would squash his opponents, Ric Flair helped make other stars. You name it, Flair has done it. He's competed everywhere and he did it at an elite level. His contribution to wrestling is simply immeasurable. When cable TV turned wrestling to sports entertainment, it was Ric Flair who was at the forefront of it. Longevity also goes a long way and he's continued to persevere even after he was told that he would never like walk Ric again Flair. after his 1975 plane crash. He's just a legend. He's the one considered the final true world champion. He was the one cutting those legendary promos with the horsemen. He's the one who even to this day continues to give back to the next generation in his teachings. Ric Flair truly is a legend. And sure, he's not that well known outside the world of professional wrestling. But in the grand scheme of things, Ric Flair did everything. What do you mean he's not that known? Ric Flair is an icon. Have you ever heard sports teams say, give me two claps and a Ric Flair? And then they clap, clap and say, woo! Have you not ever heard them say that? There's a lot of teams out there that do that. It's a lot of teams. College teams, high school teams. It's even pro teams that do that. Ric Flair's an icon. They got, he got a song. He didn't make the song, but Offset, you know, the rapper, made a song about him. And Ric Flair came out to the song on his wedding. I just showed you, man. Ric Flair. He could for the business. Legend. And for that, he belongs in this conversation. Then there's The Undertaker, who for Top many two. people is the Top greatest two. wrestling character of all time. Top two. The fear he instilled in people Top dating two. back to the early 90s care. is something that no other character could do. Well, aside from Kane. Undertaker was simply the man. He was the one who changed his gimmick and every time he did, it worked. It never failed and in sports entertainment, that connection is so important. Adding longevity to your career and never getting stale are all qualities for being considered the greatest of all time. When that gong hit, kids would be running for Chills, their life. Boy. The eyes rolling back into his head Scariest and slow walk in the ever. ring, simply goosebumps. The dead man would arrive, just like he did almost every year at WrestleMania. The streak. One of, if not the greatest wrestling record of all time. The greatest record Undertaker of all time. even more of a GOAT is his leadership. Things we don't see on TV. He's the judge for wrestler's court. He kept the locker room at bay and as drama free as he could. Not just that, but you look at what he's done for younger talents like Randy Orton and even more recently for Roman Reigns. Undertaker was and is a generational talent that's never going to be seen again. All those guys I just mentioned are from WWE or WWF. Those guys do not exist without Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This is true, but I mean, he's not... He's not being this because he's not a wrestler, but none of this is possible without what he did. So I can kind of see, like, if there was a route, Mount Rushmore, Vince should be on it for sure. But I wouldn't say he's a GOAT. But he's definitely the reason for all of this. So big praise of Vince. Speaking of Vince, Vince is returning soon. How y'all feel about that? Vince McMahon is the greatest wrestling promoter of all time. He was the one who united the wrestling territories and brought us the phenomenon that was WWF and is WWE. Without him, this video isn't being made. Yeah. Without him, we don't have some of those legendary feuds, matches, and moments. Yeah. He's the one calling the shots backstage. He's the reason why we had all these guys in the first place. It was all his vision. The whole time, this man knew exactly what he was doing and the end goal that he wanted to get to. We can say whatever we want, but without Vince McMahon, WWE doesn't Ew, reach the heights that... it did back then, and it may not Ew. be Vince McMahon. Look at John. I thought that was Jim Ross. That's what I was looking at the first time, but... Ew! He doesn't reach the heights it did back then, and... It John! But What's up with the haircut, dude? WWE doesn't reach the heights... Somebody put a hand on top of his head and then shaved around, bro. Ew! It did back then, and it may not be around now. But being the GOAT goes so much further than just the WWE. I know this don't got... Sure, it's the biggest wrestling company in the world, 
But wrestling oh, but is I know this on God, Daniel and some Bryan people minute. are world-traveled veterans who have dominated everywhere. Daniel Bryan's good, but Look bro, at a guy like go. AJ Styles. A body of work speaks for itself. He's been everywhere. Yeah, TNA, that's true. New Japan, WWE. That's true. And everywhere he has been, he's been a focal point. He's been a top star and delivered Wait, amazing is this not, matches uh, time after wrestling time. Though. I thought it was the WWE. Is also defined by what he did in his profession. And without AJ Styles, TNA doesn't reach the heights it did. TNA it ain't a thing an without AJ Styles. Styles was the reason we'll have all these amazing matches to look at years and years from now. And in modern day, if you were to look at the whole scope of pro wrestling, very few people have the accomplishments of AJ Styles. Then there's Antonio Inoki, who is probably Japan's most famous wrestler of all time and delivered a whooping to the great Muhammad Ali. He was a master in the ring and faced some of the greats like Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. Maybe he's the GOAT in your opinion. Then you have Andre the Giant, who is a star larger than wrestling. Andre is probably the textbook definition of an icon. He went everywhere to wrestle and he simply became a phenomenon. I mentioned longevity with Undertaker. Another hey. thing like that. Jericho might be up there, y'all. Hey. Much as hey, as much as y'all might not like that. Jericho might be one of them names. He's still going right now. At AEW. This doesn't say WWE, it says wrestling. I don't know, man. Jericho might be one of them dudes. He don't have the titles for it, but other than the titles, you got to think about everything he's done. I don't know. Jericho is up there. He up there. I ain't going to say he the GOAT, but he up there. I get Jericho top 10. Is Chris Jericho, who has shown a unrivaled hey, up there. to adapt and change his I didn't even think about over Jericho. and over again. He just keeps going, and it's magical. He's delivered us some of the most entertaining feuds and matches, and he's still doing it. It's a work of art, which you have to attribute to the mastermind behind it all, and that's Chris Jericho. Then there's guys like Kazuchika Wakata, Kenny Omega, Bruno San Martino, Randy Orton, Triple H, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, a guy like Brock Lesnar. All these great names, and they didn't. he didn't talk about none of them? And he's going to talk about Brock? I'm, I'm sad now. Then there's guys like Kazuchika Wakata, Kenny Omega. I did a video on Kenny Omega, and it was talking about his life. Not, not, not his life, but his wrestling career, you know, in Japan and, you know, current day, AEW. I did a video on that like a couple months ago. Y'all yeah, go check that out. Omega, Bruno San Martino. Haven't, I mean, we. if you watched my last video, it talked about Bruno San Martino a little bit. Tino, Randy Orton. And the fact that he's not talking about Randy right now? What? He has, he has a whole setup for Brock Lesnar, but he's not talking about Randy Orton? Ain't Randy a 15 or 14 time champion? And you're not talking about him? Hope Randy comes back in. And I actually want Randy to... I think Randy should either tie or pass Ric Flair. How y'all feel about that? Hopefully he comes back healthy. Orton, Triple H, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle. A guy like Brock Lesnar who dominated WWE in two years, left for UFC, killed it there, came Brock back is not to a dominate goat, bro. WWE. He's dominant, but he's again. not a GOAT. I could go on forever about people who are in this conversation. The list just goes on you and show on. Eddie already. For the women, we have Lita and Trish Stratus who changed the game. Mae Young and Moolah back in the day were the cream of the crop. Yeah. Becky Lynch became the first the, true the goal. women star in WWE with all the chips. Moolah might be the go, I ain't Even for people growing up right now who are seven or eight years old, their goat is Roman Reigns. Or maybe their goat is John Moxley. No. It's a debate that will never ever end. The point is in the wrestling world, there will never be a conclusive result. I keep the same sure, there are some people that are favored way more than others. But it's a debate that's going to rage on forever. There are so many different factors which contribute to this and everyone's tastes are different. Everyone likes and dislikes different things. But the biggest factor is bias. We all latch ourselves with a star for one reason or another. Sometimes we look at what they did in the wrestling world and other times we just look at what they did for us as children and the emotional connection we made with them. 
I know I couldn't get into every single little detail and story, but I you talking about bro before you talk about any of these other people. Business. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. In the no, you didn't answer the question. Tell me who is your goat. You didn't answer the question yourself. A conclusive. My top, my top five. Cena. Let me know your top five in the comments. Cena. Taker. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I might have to go Orton. I'm sorry, I might have to go Orton. Then I'll go Flair. I don't know who to put number five. But my number five, I might say. I don't know, man. I go. I go. I go Stone Cold. It's hard, man. It's it, this is very hard to 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 determine your goats. So, like I said, Cena, Taker, Orton, Flair, and I go Stone Cold. Bro, that's tough. Let me know down below in the comments who your top five are. And if you want to put an explanation, that's fine. If not, that's fine as well. But hey, man, let me know how y'all feel about this video. If y'all want more videos like this, press the thumbs up right now. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy D-River, man. I'm out.